Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Gulf Breeze, Florida, just outside of Pensacola, where we encounter a sovereign citizen-esque uh, Karen who doesn't believe that she should stop when the uh, police uh, turn on their lights and ask her to pull over. So she ends up leading them on a very short chase before she pulls on over and demands to know why the officers have pulled her over. Uh, and it turns out to be, well, uh, expired license plate. And, well, it's not exactly her car anyway. And because, well... She has no license, and she claims that she's not from the area. And this is just the tip of the iceberg with her. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. At 11, we're heading down Bayshore now. Speeds are at 27 miles per hour. Heading into the backside of the Thai restaurant. Be advised, vehicle just struck the curb. We're slow rolling here by the dumpster. Driver, turn the vehicle off now! Turn your vehicle off now. Open the door. Let me see your hands. Step out of the vehicle slowly. Whenever you step out of the vehicle, face away from me. Stay facing away from me. Step out of the vehicle, do it now. Step out of the vehicle right now. What did I do wrong? What's going on? Well, now, uh, you didn't want to pull over because, well, at first you uh, claimed that uh, they didn't have the right to pull you over to begin with. But hell, you've got bad plates on your vehicle, which come to find out later on is not exactly your vehicle to begin with. You just drove it here. So that's why they were doing this to begin with. But let's just go ahead and carry on with your stupidity because, well, it's going to get crazier from here. This is a traffic stop for expired registration. Fail to drive in a single lane. Stay facing away from me. Do it now. Ma'am, please set the phone down. Do not escalate this situation. Get out of the car. Why do people have to resist us? <sighs> this is ridiculous. We're gonna wait for Santa Rosa to get here. Ma'am, open the door and step out of the vehicle. Can you see us? She's still on the phone. Why don't you come over here behind me? What we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to this car on the driver's side, all three of us, we're gonna approach as a team, okay? We're gonna try to light up the interior of the car. I wanna see if there's any, you know, very quickly, we're gonna see if there's any weapons or anything. Um, we're gonna try to open up the driver's door and tell her to get out of the car, okay? Okay. Ma'am, open up the door. Ma'am, please open up the door. The door's locked. Ma'am, unlock the door, please. Roll the window down. Ma'am, please open up the door. I don't want to have to break the window. If you don't roll the window down, we have to break the window. Ma'am, you need to open up the door and step out of the vehicle and provide identification. This is a traffic stop, as I've already informed you previously. Do not escalate this situation. Ma'am, you are escalating the situation. You need to at least put your window down, open up the door, and step out of the vehicle. I've already told you because your registration's expired. You're driving in the left lane, and also you're drifting in and out of your lane. Ma'am, listen to me. If you do not open the door, we're going to break the window. I've already, I've already communicated that to you. You've been stopped for a few traffic violations. Hey, since her face is so close to the window, don't yep. break this one. Okay. Um, passenger? Go on the passenger yep. side. I'll tell you when. Okay. Ma'am, last warning. Please step out of the vehicle. Ma'am, do you understand this is your last warning? Last warning. You are under arrest. Go ahead. Just safe flight repair, safe flight replace. Doing? I didn't do anything wrong. I want to talk to your officer, Sheriff. I want to speak to your... Oh, lady, you're about 10 steps behind the officers right now. It's far too late to see a manager. I mean, you had the opportunity and you, uh, well, screwed that up. And now, well, you are about to 
Well, you played the game F around and find out, and guess what? You, uh, you've you definitely found out, and it's about to get, uh, well, a little bit worse. You guys are violating my rights right now. You are scaring me, and I have done nothing wrong. Yep. Come on. Do not... What Come are on. you doing? What are you doing? Let me go. What are you doing? Stop. You're under arrest. Hands on your back. Hands what behind your back. You're under arrest. For what? For resisting for arrest. Resisting. I am not for resisting. Obstruction, okay? I am not Man, resisting. Violation of 84302. Let me go. I'm nope. not doing No, ma'am, you're going to jail. You're it's going over. to jail. Stop resisting. I was never resisting. You guys attacked me. This is not fair. No, stop let go of my, give me my phone. Stop resisting. You are not going to delete me. Ma'am, stop. Audio. I am not resisting stop arrest. Stop resisting. You do not have to stop grab resisting me. Now. I am not resisting. Stop resisting. I have a witness stop for resisting. everything. Lady, if it's taking more than one cop to uh, restrain you, then uh, you certainly are resisting at this point. I mean, it shouldn't have to take... Uh, anybody to restrain you if you are not resisting. You should be cooperating at this point. But no, apparently you think that they don't have the right to do this because, well, for reasons. I don't know. I mean, you never explain your reasons. What, is your, what, what is your name? Stop. What is your name? Quit resisting. I have a right Stop to know resisting. who is arresting me. You're going to the back of the who police car now. I have somebody coming over here. I have my brother and my children here. I have a right to know where I'm going. Let me go. I have a right to know where I'm going. My brother's on the way to the city no. of the county jail. Wait That's where till going. my brother gets here. No. I need my cell phone. No. You're, Stop. You're going to jail. No, I am not going to Yes, you are. I need to get my. I know my rights. If you have to say I know my rights, clearly you don't know what your rights are. I mean, it's just experience here from what I've seen with other sovereign citizens and frauditors who generally say the same damn thing, but when it comes right down to it, they don't know shit. I know my rights. Uh, you should exercise I the right to remain rights. silent right now. I need I need my property. I need my cell phone. I want my cell phone. I need my property. I know my rights. You have no right to delete those videos from my phone. I want my property. I know my rights. She must watch a lot of First Amendment auditors because I've seen First Amendment auditors make that exact same claim that uh, their videos are being deleted when they get arrested. But yet somehow, magically, uh, about 80% of the time, these videos end up online from their perspective. So they're not exactly being deleted. Who's talking? Some lady over there. What's the problem? I guess that's the lady that she called. Did she say she calls from you? What's going on now? I'm yeah. just trying to fix a PowerPoint that I got. Well, I've watched her for 15 minutes ignore you guys. Oh, okay. Okay. Her, and I've been videoing, so I'll report oh, okay. to you. Okay. Gotcha. Need. She's crazy. If you would, yeah. yeah. Yes, absolutely. That woman needs to go to jail. Yeah, she, uh, you know, lit her up way back I there in the that. seashore. I was, I was like, yeah, that's why I went back inside, turned the lights off. I yeah. didn't want anybody to know I was here. Gotcha. Okay. okay. Did you see that one? Take note, First Amendment auditors. This woman they just communicated with was filming the officers, but they didn't antagonize her at all. They didn't touch her. That's because, well, she was doing it the right way. She was not trying to interfere in anything. She was just watching and filming from a distance. Take note. That's the right way to do it. That's the right, definitely the right way to do it. I do not give you consent to search my vehicle. Lady, 
This is far beyond consent now. You are under arrest, and your vehicle is being inventoried, getting ready to be towed. This is not a consensual process. This is part of being arrested. You have no worry. It's, you have no right. Do not get out of the vehicle. You have no right to pull me over. Ma'am, it's Let a me go. tow inventory, okay? You have no right to search my vehicle. I have not given you consent. You have no warrant. Inventory. This is not inventory. This is not inventory. You are searching my vehicle without my permission. Yeah. You have no right. It's called inventory, ma'am. It's not. Yes, ma'am. This is my property. You take inventory in the jail. This is you are breaking the law. Okay. When you get signaled by police to pull over for a traffic violation, you have to pull over and provide identification. You have to understand that. I am not from here. I tried this to is, pull over. I didn't know what was going on. This is nationwide, okay? This is not nationwide. This is nothing. Yeah, when the police signal you to pull over, you have to stop. And that's why you need this money cost for one person? Yeah, because no. you, you were resisting. No, I was not resisting. I had no idea what was going on. You only followed me for not even a mile. For half a mile, I was confused. So from your perspective, they were following you for about a mile with their lights on and you were confused and you didn't know what was going on. Well, uh, I know here in Florida, uh, it's part of uh, courtesy to pull over on the side of the road when emergency vehicles are coming up right behind you to begin with, let alone a uh, police officer who's trying to pull you over. I mean, yeah, here in Florida, you pull over just on the side of the shoulder to allow emergency vehicles to go by. So you didn't even know you had to do that, huh? I thought you were a, a, a ambulance. Again, which is why you pull over the shoulder to allow the ambulance to go by, because if they have somebody in the back of the ambulance that needs to be in the, at the emergency room, it's a, P, it's a common damn courtesy. Red and blue lights? You guys are now violating From my three rights, police cars? I believe I will do something about this. Okay. I will do something about this. It doesn't matter what it is that you, you believe. You are now searching no. my property without my consent. I don't even think she has without a... Without my consent! I don't think she you has a license. You are searching my property without my consent. I know my rights! Ma'am, where's your license located? I don't have it with me. I... My brother's from the way here. This is his car. I just went to the store. Alright, what's your last name? My last name is on my ID that you are searching without my permission. I have no right to give you anything. Wait till my brother gets it. You have pulled me over for no reason. Okay. What is your last name? I'm not giving you any information. I will wait till my brother gets here. Can I please make a phone call? Nope. I don't feel safe right now. Ma'am, you're in the. I do not feel safe. Right you're now. in the hands of police. I do okay, not you're feel you're safe. safe. In the hands of the police right now. You're protected. No, I am not. I want my property. You have no right to do this. I want to speak with my brother. You guys know you're doing wrong, and you will pay for this. I need to know the badge number of every single officer that is here. You guys are searching my car without probable cause. Ma'am, you've been watching way too much Facebook. <laughs> yeah, it seems to show that she's been watching way too many First Amendment auditors and or sovereign citizens, even though I don't see very many sovereign citizen attributes coming out of this. It may be First Amendment auditors that she has a thing for. No. You are Can you run the entrance subject, the driver for me, check all 50 for a deal? I said, does she, does she have a license? And he's like, no, nah, I don't, she doesn't, so. Let me see it, where's it at? Okay. Uh, marijuana in there, it was inside the glove box, or the center, center console. Thing, and there's a little bit of shake there, cause it's, it was broke already. Okay. And then that wine was in the front seat in the black bag. Wine was in the front seat in the black bag. Yeah, the black uh, grocery okay. bag. I'll let you know here in just a second. Can I please answer my phone? Absolutely not. Why not? You've been deprived of all your freedoms at this time. What? You're under arrest. So one of your charges is going to be never having a driver's license. Another one of your charges is going to be 
fleeing elude law enforcement. I was not fleeing. You, you've been signaled to stop and you failed to do I so. I was not fleeing and I will fight that against court. I was not fleeing. A third. I did not know what was going on. I want to put that on the record. I was not fleeing. But judge, I had no idea why the officers were right behind me with all their lights on. I didn't know that I was being pulled over. I mean, how am I supposed to know that they were wanting me to pull over? Okay, ma'am, I'm trying to explain why you're going to jail, okay? The third charge you're going to get tonight is violation of 843.02, resisting without violence. I was not okay. resisting. All right, so that's why you're going to jail, and you're going to get a few cit citations for uh, the traffic violations. Which are exactly what? What exactly is it that you pulled me over for? Because I break no law. I was driving the speed limit. I did nothing <coughs> wrong. I was using all my turn signals. Okay, uh, we got one of those. Uh, well, they explained it to you earlier. You had no plates and you were driving on the wrong side of the road. Is that clear enough or should I speak a lot slower so you can understand? Why did you pull me over? You guys are searching my car without my consent or nobody's consent. We have to do an inventory no, of your property. We don't. Yes, ma'am. No, not for what's in the vehicle because you have no probable cause for anything else. A traffic violation does not mean search my vehicle. <clears throat> I could have easily gave you my password and my, my passport and all my identification. The yep. way you guys came to me is to break in the law. Yeah, well, you say that now that you could have identified yourself earlier and pulled over. But uh, you do realize that a passport is not an authorization to drive in the United States. For that, you need a driver's license. But it is far, far too late to do any of that. You done screwed up, lady. All of these officers for what? I want to make a few phone calls. I need to figure this out. I'm not even from this state. You can make a phone call when you get to the jail. I want to make a phone call right now. I don't even know where I'm at, where I'm going. I know nothing. You're in Gulf Breeze, Florida. You're heading to the Santa Rosa County Jail. And there you have it, folks. I mean, this one was a complete and utter moron watching way too many sovereign citizens and frauditors to even understand what the hell was going on here. And it cost her several charges at that operating a vehicle without a license resisting arrest without violence possession of marijuana less than 20 grams all of which are misdemeanors and she was uh, bonded out for about $9,500 and well you know what they say about stupid let me tell you something folks you can't fix stupid well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.